Hi guys, and welcome to a new makeup transformation that will focus around eyes, big huge ones, inspired by the movie Rango, where Johnny Depp plays an awesome chameleon lizard in the middle of a desert with a really cool Hawaiian shirt, and I just thought this will be so challenging for me, more of a visual illusion to the eyes. If you haven't seen this movie, you should go check it out. It is so cute, hilarious, and good for all ages. It's going to take a lot of work, so let's get started. I have a black background today because we are going to use it with the visual effects on our face and a bald cap is going to be used. But we are going to put our hair back in a ponytail, make it a very low ponytail. You might want to smooth down your ponytail with some hairspray if you're using a bald cap or not. These could be pretty tough to put on and a little bit costly to find a good one. So if you do not want to use this, you could skip this step and just pull your hair back. Honestly, especially if you have darker hair. But with the ball cap, I'm going to peel back the edges a little bit and then put some spirit gum on there. Let it get a little bit tacky and then seal the edges all the way around to your ponytail or your hairline. This is not the correct way to put on a ball cap. But for this look, it will do because we're just only going to see the front of it. Unless you are going outside with this entire look, you might want to professionally put on a ball cap. And once you have all of those edges sealed with the liquid latex all the way around, you want to do your hairline, the sides, almost all the way to your ponytail, just don't get it in your hair. Use some liquid latex. I'm using Ben Nye's. I hate, absolutely despise the smell of liquid latex, but it has to be done. We can't have raw edges showing in our look. Put it in a separate dish and use a disposable sponge when using liquid latex or a disposable brush. You want something that you can just chuck and throw away because it will ruin your sponges and your brushes. Liquid latex is just terrible for them. How I apply liquid latex is I pat it on the raw edge and then smooth it out with the other side of the sponge. You want it to blend nicely into the ball cap in your skin. It's kind of like filling in a crack with some paint. We're going to let that dry for a couple of minutes and then seal it with a setting powder. You want a translucent powder. Tarte makes some good ones. That's the one I'm using. I know that e.l.f. makes a translucent powder. Whatever is white, that shows up completely translucent. And then once you have that powder on, we are going to get a glue stick to do the disappearing eyebrow trick. Wait for it to get tacky. Do a layer of the translucent powder on top of that. Wait for that to completely dry. Do another thick layer glob of glue. Wait for it to get tacky so that we could put some more powder on it. That's the final seal. Wait for that to completely air dry so that we have a blank canvas to paint on everything with the ball cap when we look like a freaky alien. Let me come to your home planet. But to frighten yourself even more and to move on with this look, we are going to get a brown eyeliner pencil. You don't have to do this step, but I suggest it if you are more of a beginner and nervous about trying to paint a lizard on your face. You could use this as an outline to draw in the eyebrows of the lizard. They kind of look like eyebrows and they kind of look like little horn stumps that are lizard eyebrows, but it's just the skin. It's a weird combination. But then you are going to draw the eyeballs of Rango, this lizard. One is always going to be bigger than the other, always have a reference picture to make sure that everything's aligned. They kind of look like boobies to be honest and one's lopsided than the other, too graphic and detailed. But seriously, too much information, if you look at it real close, it gets super awkward. But we're going to move on to draw that mouth across our nose. And then you're going to do a mustache type line that's going to be the edge of his chin. A chiseled jaw look. It's going to be a little lopsided. This lizard just has so many expressions, so that's why I chose them. You could do things a little bit wonky because his actual face is wonky. That's what I love about it. And once you do the outline of the face around your actual cheeks, you are going to do the skinny little twig neck of the lizard down your chin all the way down your neck. Like I said, this is going to get really weird and draw his chest because it is going to be an illusion of a face on top of your face. Does that make sense? You'll just have to see. Because once we have the outline drawn and we look like a freak person from a circus, we are going to paint the face. I am using Wolf Brothers brand new paint set I bought. It cost me so much money. Literally, I had to save up for months for this. It's way too much. You could use the Paradise Basics paint palette instead. So much easier to work with. This is so tough, but we're going to do a yellow base layer as you can see. Honestly, this looks like I just covered my face in mustard, but whatever's. But like I said, this is definitely for more pro people. I have so much practicing to do with this, but this was just my first look I want to practice with. 
Aqua sponges are one of the best things to use all over the body for any aqua water based type paints that uses water to activate them and blend them into your skin. Then I'm going to use this gorgeous like teal green color that I got from Wolf Brothers. It is so beautiful with an aqua sponge. Dab that in certain areas. Rango the Lizard has a beautiful combinations of yellows, teals, bright greens, dark forest greens, and grays and blacks. So this is going to be the layer. Look at the reference picture where you're gonna put the teals on. It's a wonderful project to figure out how to layer paints on top of each other because lizards always have so many combinations of different of colors in them, especially chameleon type lizards that Rango has. And now I'm gonna get the pot of the Wolf Brothers Medium Tone Green. Any of your standard green, you could use any Halloween costume makeup like I said. Putting that in areas of transitions between that teal and the next color that we're gonna put on. Once you're done with the teal color, we are gonna get a paintbrush with the very darkest green color and do in these little grooves around those round eyeballs that we drew on and under it and little spots around it. These are going to be the darker transitions of contrast of green. Then getting a black Wolf Brothers color, honestly you can use any Halloween paint or the Paradise palette like I said. We are going to start drawing in this part of the eye. I'm going to start off at one eye at a time and just do different sections. We want to do one eye first and then we're going to match the other one. You want to make sure those grooves of the eyebrows are fine and around the eyeball of course. Do some shadowing and paint in the little eyeball. If you have any bleeding around the colors of the eyes, we'll fix it later. It's always probably going to be like that till last minute because we blink so many times. But we're going to do the gray color of our chin, which is going to be the shadow of the chin of the lizard. Taking that black paint again and painting in our lips and doing a transition of shadows on that chin. We kind of look like a gothic lizard person. Bringing down more of a dark gray, almost black shadow of that chin area. Redrawing in Rango's mouth since we lost it a little bit with the paints. Getting that brown eyeliner pencil again to define around those eyebrow things that the lizard has around his eyeballs. Getting the yellow color with an aqua sponge and patting in yellow highlights of the lizard. Using a very thin paintbrush with a light gray color, we are going to do the scales by hand. If you don't want to do it by hand, you could get some netting maybe and tap on some watered down paint on top of it to make some scale marks, but I was too afraid that the watercolors would bleed out if I did too many layers on top of it. So I'm just going to do it by hand. Tedious work, but it will look cool, I hope. More of a crackled effect like he's been hot in the sun in the desert like in the movie. You can get different shades of grays and blacks and put them around the eyeballs, especially on top of your own eyeballs because this is going to be one of the final steps. You do not want the paint to smear everywhere. That's why you want to wait to put the colors on top of your eyes till later. Now I'm just fixing one of my eyes because I thought the pupil of the eye was too high and wonky to the other one. You want to make them as even parallel across from each other as you can. So just tap on some yellow then do the intricate lines of the black of the pupil of his eye. This is going to be really really hard doing it on yourself but practice makes perfect or you have someone else help you maybe. Then you're going to get the bright green color with a paintbrush and paint kind of a medium line of thickness of green around the silhouette of his neck and head so that the gray shadows of his neck that you painted on will not blend in and disappear into the black that we are about to paint on all over our neck and head. You want to get a very thin paintbrush with black and darken in certain parts of the mouth as well so that it looks like he has a little bit of that smirk and attitude. Then I'm going to pat some more green in places that I think need it with an aqua sponge and some of that teal color. And once you love all the colors and the image of your lizard face that you just painted on your face and chest, you are going to get some black paint with an aqua sponge. Again, only if you're using aqua paints is when you use the aqua sponge. If not, if you're using cream base, I would get a paintbrush. I'm using a paintbrush actually to paint the edges and not get it too smushed into the intricate drawing of the lizard I just did on my face. So that I can have sharp lines with good edges around 
around the lizard to showcase him more. This black is going to be a great transition color to that back black ground like I said before so that it gives the illusion that our face is very tiny like this lizard's head. Just remember to use the paintbrush to do sharp edges first and then you could go in with the aqua sponge and more black paint to do more of the bigger areas around the outline of the black we did with the paintbrush. It is like doing a coloring book on your face to the extreme. If you're younger and doing this, I would ask for help from maybe an older person or a parent because it could be so hard. This is probably one of the hardest makeup transformations I've ever done. But once you have the black paint all the way everywhere you think it needs to be on your head, you can actually get the black paintbrush again and sharpen the edges if you think the face needs to be smaller or a different shape and perfect it compared to the reference picture of Rango. We are going to get a Hawaiian luau shirt. I found this one online at Sears. Honestly, you can find any red Hawaiian shirt with white hibiscus flowers or more of a white yellow hibiscus flower like Rango from the movie. We're gonna put that on. And so that doesn't look too huge for the body of the lizard that I painted on. I am going to get this black scarf so that the black from the paint on our head and the black from the scarf will hopefully blend enough into the background where our shirt will actually look smaller like it fits the lizard. And that is our finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, it is so difficult to do this one, but I hope you guys had as much fun watching as I had making it. Seriously, like making this was going through all the walkthroughs and cheat codes of your favorite expert level video game. I'm not kidding. But thank you guys so much for watching. Now it's time to finally take this off. Ripping off bald caps are one of my least favorite things, but I had fun anyways. This was so difficult to take off because it is a very high-end product of makeup. I had to use all the makeup wipes I own, all the baby wipes I own, but honestly it was like probably a dozen to 20 of makeup wipes and baby wipes and a very good thorough shower. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully more makeup transformations to come in the future. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below with the cheaper alternatives because girl, this paint was too hard to work with and too expensive. But hopefully I will master it soon and be able to show you guys even more things. What I would like to know is what would you like to see in another makeup transformation? Leave it in the comments below. I will definitely be seeing you next week with a art drawing video or makeup transformation. I love you all to pieces. Bye.